who's got the freaking got why I order blending them together. Yeah, very good. Hello and welcome to the workshop. Thank you for stopping by. We appreciate you very, very much. If you are new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. We upload a lot of sneaker videos, buckets. What is a lot? Define a lot. Almost every single day. Almost every single day. So if you love sneakers, you have come to the right place. You can also find me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok at Mr. Fomer Simpson when I am not here in this little sneaker crevasse. What's another good word, buckets? Give me something. Sneaker uh, Corridor. You can find me on those other platforms. Before we dive into the sneakers, I want to mention this French Terry crew neck that I'm wearing right now. Buckets, who is behind the camera, and myself. We have a clothing brand, uncivilizedstore.com is where you can buy it. And this is Buckets, the latest offering. Big time. French Terry sweatshirt, crew neck, as you can see. Fully embroidered logo, made in the USA. Buckets. Mutabella premium. There you go. And we have some other stuff on the site as well, as well as other stuff coming soon. So we will put a link in the description of this video for your convenience. With that said, buckets. Do you have the gabagool? Who's got the gabagool? We diving in. Diving in. Three, two, one. Bang, bang. This is the New Balance 990 V3 Daytona by Ronnie Fi. a few weeks ago and retail was $235. high on the retail price point, I know, but these were mandatory for me. I am a huge fan of this colorway. A lot of you probably remember the Daytona 1600s that Ronnie did back in 2013. One of my all time favorites from him from Kith and really even New Balance in general. I just love that sneaker. That 1600 Daytona is absolutely perfect. Do I think these are better than the 1600s? No, because it's hard to beat the original. The quality on those is just phenomenal. But I will say just generally speaking, 1600, which I love, I do love the 990 even more. If you tune in regularly, then you probably know that about me. I have talked the 990 up buckets a lot a numerous of times a numerous of times just as far as all day comfort goes everyday wear i actually don't think there is a sneaker better than the new balance 990 so i'm just throwing that out there everyone should own a pair of 990s and this colorway it's extra spicy in my opinion you've got this blue pig suede on the front of the sneaker perforated on the toe smooth suede wrapping around the front. You've got almost like a felt type material on the mid panels and along the eyelets. And it's in this cream color, as you can see. You've got a pink New Balance logo with a little bit of trim. Mesh tongue with that waffle texture up top. I absolutely love that. New Balance USA white, blue, and pink rope laces. Two extra sets as well. Options are a beautiful thing. You've got the RF Dubray on one side, which is obviously Ronnie Feig's initials. And then on the other side, New Balance with this creature buckets. What is it? It's a, it's a winged horse. Yes. It's a horse that can fly. It's very extravagant. Very. A very extravagant uh, way to travel. 
maybe not the most comfortable. Yeah, probably not the most comfortable because you're going through the air or it's sometimes on the ground, then it's lifting off. Exhilarating, comfort, I don't know. I'm worried about the land. I'm worried about the saddle, you know. A jolt to the family jewels. <laughs> there you go. You've got this tan leather on the back, perforated around the Achilles area, I'm gonna call it. You've got some Kith branding. You've got some New Balance and 990 branding, white and cream midsole, end cap as you can see. And then you've got this pretty plain outsole, nothing too crazy going on. It's just an amazing sneaker. Sometimes though, taking a classic like the Daytona 1600, it really goes for any brand, any silhouette, any colorway. We've talked about it before. You can't just take something that worked on one sneaker and slap it on another. It doesn't always translate. It doesn't always execute the same way and turn out equally dope. In this case, I think it translates very, very well. Now I have seen some people talk about the quality on this pair versus the 1600, saying it's not as good. I still think the quality on these is very elite. Not to mention the extras and just the thought and energy that got put into this collaboration from the box with the top-down sneaker view. I love that. There's a dust bag. There's a pair of stance socks. It's just, I don't know, buckets. What's the word that I'm looking for? Fulfilling? No it makes you feel like the sneaker is special because it has the extras, it has the cool box, it has pig suede on it, you know? It just, it feels elegant. It's gonna have a lot of fixings. Oh, the fixings. If you don't understand that, you gotta tune into our podcast. We'll throw that link in the description as well. Um, so Buckets, I don't think that they tried to reinvent the wheel with these. Ronnie, Kith, it's just, kind of paying homage to some of the classics. This is a, uh, not tribute, but it's a decade in the game. An homage. Yeah, the 10 year anniversary of Kith. And they did a V1, a V2, a V3, which is these, and a V4. I think all of them turned out really, really good. I had to protect my pockets a little bit. I could not buy all of them. So this was my favorite, and this was the pair that I went after. I did have to pay resale for them, full disclosure, but it wasn't really that much more than that 235 retail price point. So that's always nice. Again, talk about that a lot. A sneaker that's really dope, you really want it, and then the resale prices are absolutely out of this world, and you have to just kind of chalk it up and move on. These I was able to grab, and I'm happy about that. Whew. Boom, end rant. Uh, Scale of one to 10, we gotta make it official. I'm giving these a 10 out of 10. Uh, as you probably expected, buckets as you probably expected. 9.99, never ending. You know, like pi, and it just, it just goes and goes and goes and goes. So 9.99 with the little pi thing over the top, the last nine. It's not a pi, I think you do an R. Okay, I wasn't good at math, but I know it never, it never ends, all right? Pi never ends. Edit in, never ending story. The creature flying in the back, wrapping around. Like, it's just like, you know, maybe give me the flying horse wings. Not going to happen. Clouds, different stuff going on. Not going to happen. Okay, fair enough. Scale of one to 10, please don't let me down on these. I think I'll go nine. Oh, so, you, all right. Maybe I'll go nine, two, five. Go into the second decimal. I like it. You're a big 990 guy. Love 990s. You're wearing them as we speak. I'm wearing them as we speak. You know, listen, 990 boys in the building. Leave a comment below. Let us know how do you feel about these. I, I almost, I'm thrown off. I'm not used to you and I agreeing on sneakers, but here we are. That's like the Sean Evans and Paul Rudd. Exactly what I was, edit that in. We'll get, we'll get in trouble. Who thought we'd ever be here? Not me. Yeah. Not me. So I'm Paul Rudd in this uh, instance. Leave a comment below. Let us know how do you feel about this collaboration? How do you feel about this colorway? How do you feel about this pair versus the 1600? Verse or verses? I never know. Uh, leave a comment below and let us know. Always love to hear from you. Thank you for watching. You are very, very appreciated. We will be back tomorrow, manana. Same time, same place right here that works out with a brand new sneaker for your head top. I got nothing else. Buckets, anything from thou? No. Adios. Adios.